good morning dear students welcome back to my channel breaking the barriers so today we are going to discuss the chapter thief story from class 10th cbsc so i am going to give you a short intro of this chapter then we'll see who the author is and then through a summary and vocab sheet i will explain this chapter to you see this uh, pointer that is there on the screen near the title you have to follow this pointer on the screen throughout the video okay let's begin before i start i want to just uh, ask you all to please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button under the video when you subscribe to the channel when you hit the like button on the video it motivates me to make more such videos for you help me promote my channel so coming back to the topic the thief story introduction to the lesson see the introduction is that a young boy makes friends with anil anil is a main character over here and the second main character is a young boy who is a thief okay anil trusts him completely and employs him does the boy betray his trust that's the question see here is a question mark so this boy asks anil for some work and anil employs him at his home to do all the household work like cleaning the house washing clothes cooking the meals etc etc the story is about a 15 year old thief who changes his name every month to stay ahead of the police and the employer so this boy who is employed by anil for his household work is actually a thief every month he changes his name and finds another target to rob him this is how he is saving himself from the police and the old employers this time he kept his name hari singh now every time he used to change this name so this time the new name is hari singh the other person in the story means anil is 25 year old writer so anil is 25 year old and he is a writer the thief meets anil and asks him if he can work for him the story unfolds on how the thief betrays anil by committing a theft but retracts later on okay retracts later on means firstly he robs anil as his nature is to find a new target every month and rob him but later on he realizes that what he is doing is wrong and he comes back to anil and gives back the money to anil so why this happened why did he return the money back to anil what changed him this is what we will see in the chapter so two main characters anil 25 years old author and 15 years old thief named hari singh next author one of my favorite author has written this chapter sir ruskin bond here is the image of ruskin bond born 19th may 1934 indian author of british descent he lives in an adopted family in lansdowne masuri india indian council for child education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in india prominent name in children's literature books in india he was awarded the sahitya academy award 92 for our trees still grow in dera his novel in english he was narrated the padma shri in 1999 and the padma bhushan in 2014 renowned person see this is the vocabulary sheet i have three slides of this vocabulary with me on this video now i am not going to read it in front of you because it will unnecessarily increase the time of the video you can pause the video and you can note this vocabulary in your notebook all these words are extensively used in this chapter and if you note them down it will help you to understand the chapter when you read the chapter from the book so you can pause the video and you can note down these 12 words then this is the second slide from word number 13 to word number 24 you can pause the video and you can note it down then this is the third slide of the vocabulary word number 25 to 41 in total i have selected these 41 words from the book from the chapter and i believe these 41 words are important for you to understand if you want to understand the chapter completely and if you want to write good answers for this chapter in your exams so you can copy all these 41 words in your notebook coming back to the explanation 
the thief story summary here i start with the summary so here i am giving you the explanation see from the beginning where the pointer is the story is about two different people one is a thief 15 years of age and the other is a man of approximately 25 years we all know 15 years age is hari singh the thief 25 years age is anil the writer watching a wrestling match somewhere the name of the person watching the match is anil the thief approaches anil and starts talking to him because he feels that he had not robbed anyone in the past few days and thought that it would be easy to rob a simple man like anil they both started talking and anil asked the thief his name so anil was looking at a wrestling match live wrestling match which was happening somewhere and this thief hari singh approaches him and he starts talking to anil he thought that by looking at anil he thought that anil is a soft target and i could easily rob him so he started talking to anil the thief introduced himself as hari singh this is not his real name as he changes his name every month to escape his as ex employers or police why he wanted to escape the ex employers or police because he is a thief then they started talking about the wrestlers and anil was leaving when hari called him again and asked him if he could work for anil finally when they were leaving hari put up this offer that can i work for you anil said that he won't be able to pay him but he could feed him if he knew how to cook so anil said okay if you want to work for me what i am telling you in advance only that mai tumhe koi paisa nahi de paunga i will not be able to pay you anything but if you can cook the meals for both of us i can feed you the hari although didn't knew how to cook still he lied saying yes he knew how to cook anil took hari to his room which was above a sweet shop hari cooked a meal which was really bad because anil did not eat it anil asked hari to leave but he tried to please anil hari smiled in his most attractive way and anil could not stop laughing looking at him so as soon as he cooked the food anil realized that he lied to anil and he didn't knew how to cook and anil asked hari to leave the place he cannot employ a man who cannot cook but hari you know like pleaded by requesting and by smiling a very sweet smile so that anil's heart could melt and anil could let him stay so anil smiled and anil agreed to teach hari how to cook write full sentences and add number so anil said okay i will teach you how to cook i will teach you how to write and i will teach you how to add numbers means basic maths hari was grateful as he knew that there would be no limit to robbing people once he learned how to read and write now hari was not happy that i am going to learn something on the contrary he is happy that if i'll be able to write and add numbers i it can help me improve my efficiency of stealing or robbing see how negative this mindset is of this boy next the narrator used to like working for anil as he used to make him tea in the morning and then go out to buy groceries for the day now here hari is sharing the daily routine so he's saying every morning i used to wake up i used to make tea for anil and then i used to go out to purchase the groceries sabzi wagaira kharidne jata tha wo anil ke liye he also used to steal 1 rupee from the money that was given to him to buy the groceries every day anil knew that he used to steal but did not mind every day he used to steal 1 rupee and anil was aware of this thing but then to anil never you know uh, said anything about this because he thought that what is 1 rupee let it be anil used to make money by irregular works he was not in a regular job sometimes he used to borrow money and the other day when he had money he would be lending it to other people so he was uh, facing fluctuations in his work sometimes he used to borrow money and sometimes he used to earn so much that he used to lend it to the other people whenever he used to get money he would go out with his friends and he used to celebrate one day anil came in with a bundle of notes and told hari that he had sold a book to a publisher so he has a good amount of money with him a bundle of note and he told hari that he has sold a book that is why he is having this a money with him at night he kept the money safely under the mattress of his bed apne gadde ke niche usne paisa rakh liya jahan sota tha wo hari realized that he had been working for anil for more than a month and had not stolen anything apart from the 1 rupee that he kept every day from the grocery money hari had many chances to steal as he had the key to the room as well but he was surprised with the amount of trust anil had on him 
as he had never seen such a trusting person in his life. Then, you know, seeing the money, Hari starts to realize that it has been a month since I am living here with Anil and I have not robbed him. I have not robbed anything apart from that one rupee. Why is it so? Hari being a professional thief, what is stopping him from robbing Anil? The thing is that Hari was surprised that Anil trusts him so much. And somewhere or the other back in his mind, Hari did not want to break this trust which is showed or bestowed on him by Anil. This trust thing, the last paragraph, this trust thing was prevailing him from robbing Anil as Hari thought that robbing a careless person like Anil didn't make much difference because he might not even notice that he has been robbed and that took out all the fun from the work. So he said, Anil is too simple. He is careless person. He will not mind if he will be robbed and this takes out all the fun. This he's trying to say is that when you rob a person who is extremely worried of his money, then that person gets irritated, angry or cry. That is the fun in robbing the people. But if I rob Anil, there will be no fun in that because it will not affect Anil in any way. He is such a careless and simple person. He will not be affected by this small robbery. Then he thought of stealing of Anil's money and justified himself that if he did not steal money from Anil, he would waste it on his friends and also Anil didn't pay him for the work that he had. But he had to steal. So to steal the money, he said that, okay, let's justify this thing. If I will not steal the money, Anil will waste the money on his friends. Isn't it? And obviously, if I steal the money, I can do something good for myself. So with these, uh, you know, discussions back up in his mind, he tried to rob. Hari then woke up at night and quietly crawled to Anil's bed. He stole the money and decided to leave the city by the Lucknow Express that departed at 10.30. So he has stolen the money and he is running to the railway station because he wants to catch the Lucknow Express which, could, which would depart at 10.30. While he reached the station, the train had slowly started moving from the platform. Means the train is already going. If he need to catch the train, he need to run. He could have easily caught the train but he hesitated and he himself did not know the reason for it. It was quite easy for a person like Hari Singh to run and catch the train but something stopped him. He hesitated to catch the train. Before he had reached the station, he counted the money and it was 600 rupees in 50 rupees notes. He could live a lavish life for 2-3 weeks with so much of money. After the train had left, Hari was all alone at the station. He was left with no place to sleep at night. But he was not able to catch the train due to something or the other. And he was sitting at the station and he was not having any place to spend the night. The only person he knew was Anil and he looted him. He sat on the bench in a park and as it started to rain, he sat down under the clock tower. Then he realized the notes has got wet. He realized that learning how to read and write would help him to get a much more respectable and honest job which would pay him much more than these few hundred rupees. Then he decided to go back to Anil's house. He thought, see, right now I have robbed Anil, but if I continue working for Anil and if I learn how to read and write properly, I could land myself in a much respectable and reputed job which will earn me much more than what I have taken from Anil. And thinking about all these things, he decided that I will go back to Anil's house. He reached the room and placed the money back. Next morning, he woke up a bit late. Anil had already made his tea. Anil gave a 50 rupees note to Hari as he had got paid for some work and he would be paid regularly. So in the morning, Anil already had cooked, made the tea because Hari was still not awake. And after giving the tea to Hari, Anil also gave him a 50 rupees note and said that I have been paid for some work and now I will pay you money regularly. That means now Hari will get regular income from Anil. Hari took the note in his hand and realized that the note was still wet from the rain last night. Hari realized that Anil has come to know about his misdeed but there was no sadness, anger or guilt in his mind. So when Anil gave this 50 rupees note to Hari, as soon as Hari took the note, as soon as he felt the note, he realized that the note is still wet. Remember last night when Hari was uh, sitting under the clock tower, the note was already wet due to the rain and that wetness was still there in the note. That means Anil has realized what has happened. 
Anil somehow or the other got a clue that maybe Hari has tried to run away with my money but something stopped him and he is back to me. There was no sadness in Hari's mind. There was no anger in Hari's mind and there was no guilt in Hari's mind because he had done something wrong but he has already mended it. The narrator smiled in the beautiful way and it was a genuine happiness as we know that he had saved himself from the wrong road. See, always Hari used to smile when he used to see Anil but this time this happiness that he is uh, smiling, this happiness, this smile is genuine. Why it is genuine? Because Hari Singh himself knew that he has saved himself from the wrong path or the wrong road on which he was traveling in his life. So this is how Anil's, uh, you can say, nice behavior and Anil's trust on the boy changed the boy's life completely. And now the boy is no more a thief. He is happy to stay with Anil. He is happy to learn how to read and write so that he could land in some good job. I hope this video was, you know, beneficial for you, fruitful for you. You will learn something from this video. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And it's bye for now. Happy learning.